This type of reaction is called a synthesis reaction. In a synthesis reaction, sometimes they're called direct combination. My old textbook used to say that. I've always called it a synthesis reaction. Uh, it's real simple. You have two things coming together to make a new thing. So these are real easy to identify. You always have something plus something, arrow, and then just one through. There's no, one thing on the right. There's no pluses on the right or anything like that. Um, you can think of a synthesis reaction like a marriage. You have two single things coming together to form a couple. And <clears throat> one example, there are many examples. I'm going to show you one example today of magnesium coming together with oxygen to make a compound. Now, whenever you're trying to predict the products, you use the same rules as we always would with writing ionic formulas. We have a metal and non-metal coming together. So we're going to have Mg plus 2, O minus 2. So we just need one of each, and that would be the formula. Again, we're not balancing with these. Um, so <clears throat> that's all there is to it. Element plus another element. Sometimes it could be an element and a compound coming together to make a different compound. But those are the basics. So what that might look like, here's an example of what exactly, excuse me, Mr. Whiskers. If we have a piece of magnesium, we can actually, there's oxygen all around us all the time, there's oxygen right now, um, but the magnesium is not going to react with it until we uh, kind of give it a little nudge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the fire. Now you're safe at home or in class watching this on the video screen, so you're probably going to be safe, but I'm not going to look at that because I'll burn out my retinas. And the person who is uh, holding the video camera also is, oh, oh my, I glanced at it for just a second. Uh, it's a very, very, this particular synthesis reaction is an extremely exothermic reaction. It gives off a lot of heat. Oh my. All right, it's done. You can zoom in now. We got a, so there's the magnesium that I, is left that did not burn. And down here you can see this, we might just call it ash. Because it's crumbly stuff. It'll, you know, it's almost like chalk. That is the magnesium oxide. That's what oxides tend to be like, these kind of chalky, powdery things. It's like you... Uh, the ash from a cigarette is, is an oxide. And so <clears throat> that would be our magnesium oxide that we made. And that's it.